Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the final vlog of Vlogmas. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the few vlogs that I put out so far, but I just wanted to do one more vlog over this weekend that will go up on Monday. Hopefully you guys are watching this on Monday, um, just before Christmas. I'm getting ready for Christmas this weekend and doing some hopefully vloggable things. So hopefully this will be a little bit interesting, but I am actually going over to a friend's house right now to hang out. It's Friday night um, and I just wanted to show you my outfit really quickly because I'm really excited about these pieces um first of all i'm wearing another aritzia sweatshirt this is the um tna perfect oversized crew um so it's a similar fit to the boyfriend hoodie that i've showed you in previous vlogs it's just not a hood and it's really cozy and it's just it really is just like the perfect oversized size where it just like looks nice but doesn't drown you but it's still like baggy and cozy as my phone rings. Um, it's also, I think, going to look really cute, kind of like half tucked into these sweatpants, which is what I wanted to show you guys. These I think I showed in my um, last little like clothing haul. These are the Outdoor Voices like cloud knit um, joggers or sweatpants or something like that. These are super soft and like just really like silky feeling and nice. Um, these are definitely something that I could wear to work out. I don't think I would necessarily wear light gray to work out because that's just a sweat incident waiting to happen. But they're just super comfy and like silky, but I wanted to show them to you guys because they're like a little thinner than I thought. If you um, could tell in those clips, it's just like, they're just really kind of thin, silky material. They're not like cozy, like warm joggers. They're more like thin workout joggers, but still really cozy. I'm probably just gonna wear them like as loungewear and not to work out anyway, but I really love these. I'm also wearing my favorite Ugg slippers, which I'm going to take off and put my Adidas on soon. But anyway, I just wanna show you guys these sweatpants. I think they're like really comfy and cute. They're nice and high-waisted and like flattering on your stomach and everything. So that's what I'm wearing. I just put on my shoes to leave the house and I'm wearing these Adidas Falcon shoes that I just got. I love them because they have like orange on the tip, but it's subtle. They pretty much look like orthopedic grandpa shoes, but I'm going to go ahead and think that it's okay. Um, my fiance told me that they're disgusting, but I'm really into the look. I think like this is just like the new vibe, right? Like oversized, like, you know, some Yeezy inspired kind of vibes going on. That's what I like to tell myself but it's probably just a super unflattering outfit overall, but I'm okay with that because I'm comfy and cozy and it's a Friday night. Okay, so it's the next day, it's Saturday and it's really cold out, so my nose looks really red, but I'm just walking to Mary's boot camp um, again. It's my new favorite thing to do on a Saturday morning. So I'll catch up with you guys after. I didn't have a crazy energy drink, so I'm not feeling super wired, but um, I'm definitely feeling tired. So there's also a new coffee shop here that I really wanna try after they opened a blue bottle coffee here. So hopefully I'll get to try one of those. Hey guys, so we just finished berries and we got our blue bottle coffee. What did you get, Jack? I got a matcha latte. And then I got this New Orleans with oat milk, which mm -hmm. is delicious. And I also had a free coupon for a um, shake from berries. So I got this one, it's the PB&J mm. one. Very it's good. Pretty delicious, you've had it before, right? Yeah, I know it, it looks kind of weird, but it's actually very good, it's purple. And yeah, it's really tasty. How yeah. was the class, Jack? It was fabulous, fabulous. I, I thought it was really hard today. Very, very hard. We did lunges and what were those ab side side oh, those windmill were really things? Hard. Yeah, those were, that was the worst part. And then running on the treadmill. And we um, found weights. out our instructor is like leading us. Yeah, which the is instructor sad. says that some another a newer instructor is taking over the class. Yeah, so hopefully we're gonna the new miss guy's him. good. Yeah, we're gonna miss him. Definitely. Yeah. So we hope Frankie sees this video. We love you, Frankie. <laughs> love you, Frankie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll catch up with you later. See ya. I'm home now and showered and I have put on this comfy outfit and I washed my hair because berries is just really sweaty and I wash my hair like twice a week once on usually like a Wednesday and then on Saturday so um, today was my day to wash my hair because it was really disgusting as you guys saw in the previous clips but I just wanted to show this outfit really quick this is from Nasty Gal um, I got this because I think it was Kenzie Elizabeth that made this famous and then she talked about it on the OK Sis podcast and I really love the OK Sis girls I follow them on Instagram and I believe they both bought it or at least one of them did um, and it just looked so cozy and just like the perfect kind of like 
a little bit more fancy of a loungewear set. So it has this kind of off the shoulder crop top and then these big kind of like bell bottom flary loose pants. And I got this in a size small and they're definitely like really big if you can tell like I had to kind of cinch it with the um, string. And then this is nice and oversized. I think the top is fine, but the pants are just like a little baggy, but I think they're kind of supposed to be for that look. But just because the waist is so loose, I would recommend sizing down um, from your regular size. But when I bought this, pretty much everything on the Nasty Gal site was like 60 to 80% off. So this set was under $30. So I think for a top and a bottom, that's a really good deal. I think I showed this already in my haul, but I wanted to just show it on because this is what I'm wearing for my comfy cozy. Christmas errands day. So I have a few things to do and I'm going to try to wrap some presents. I have Hallmark movies on the TV in the other room and we're just going to try to make this a productive, cozy holiday day. So I'm so excited about this. This is my dad's fav famous chip and cherry cake and he wraps it up like this every year. This is like an elevated fruit cake. If you think fruit cake is disgusting, you will like this. It's like sweeter and has chocolate in it. It's like an old family recipe and I literally wait all year for this gloriousness. Oh my gosh, look at it. It doesn't look like much. Oh, the camera's kind of out of focus. How do I, there we go. I think you can see it better now. It doesn't look like much um, on camera because it kind of like has that fruitcake vibes. And I know a lot of people don't like that, but this is literally so delicious and I wait all year for it. It's really dense and thick. So I'm gonna cut a slice and eat it for lunch. All right, I have just successfully wrapped all of these gifts, so I'm ready to go for Christmas. I have two more things that I need to pick up and wrap really quickly, but those ones are really small and easy. Otherwise, this is everyone's gift, so I'm all set, and I love this cute little penguin um, wrapping paper. I got it at Target. It's now Sunday night, and I really intended to vlog a lot more yesterday, but we had a minor catastrophe here at my house. My sink in the kitchen, totally backed up and exploded everywhere. So I was cleaning and then I was planning to make some Christmas candy and show you guys um, my recipe and everything. And then I was cleaning everything and then the sink was backing up while I was seeing the, cleaning the sink. That was the last thing. And literally I have like one side's the disposal, one side's the sink. And I switched the disposal on because the water was backing up a little bit and it literally shot a bunch of stuff out of the sink all over the whole house. So. Um, that was fun. Finally got that fixed today, but long story short, I didn't end up baking anything and it really just kind of like put a damper on my day yesterday. So that was like the main like bad thing that happened. And then I had like a little kind of family dinner thing last night. And then today I had another family brunch party. So lots of family parties, which isn't like a fun opportunity to vlog. So sorry, this vlog is going to be really short, but I just wanted to show you guys one more thing that I set up for Christmas. So just to end on, this is my favorite Christmas tradition. Let me try to turn another light on here. Um, this is my nativity scene that was actually my mom's nativity scene. She bought it like a million years ago and all of these are like ceramic, really like nice little figures. And it's just my favorite Christmas tradition to put this up because I used to put it up with my mom and now I have it here at my house. And, um, we put this like one time year when I was little, we had this extra like paper from something I'm pretty sure. And she put it back there. Like, I feel like I have a vivid memory of it, but maybe I made that up in my head. Who knows? But anyway, I just love putting this out. It just like makes me super nostalgic and is my favorite Christmas tradition. And you can hear Beans um, drinking some water and eating his dinner in the background, but that is it for this Christmas vlog. This is the final vlog of Vlogmas. I hope you guys enjoyed these vlogs. Sorry, I'm like spinning around. I'm trying to find good light here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas. Let me know what you'd like to see more of on my channel. My next video should be my yearly favorites, which I'm really excited about. And then um, I have a couple other videos coming, but let me know what you guys wanna see. I wanna film what you guys will watch, so let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching and for all your comments. I appreciate each and every one of you and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and I'll catch you guys in my next video.